Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm very excited because I'm working what I like to do. And we're working on the Punisher. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and let's share, 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 so we can grow this channel, so I can do more stuff that I like, and I know you guys like, and it's all the performance stuff, and new projects, which I have a lot of those. Here we go. So this is a long coming, this Punisher. I mean, it's time to, look at all the dust. It's time, time, time to work on this. The motor is ready to go right here, look at this beauty 2021 ready to go fully built motor port ahead by moi and it's ready to go so what we're going to do today is install the motor and clean it up look at all this mess from sitting inside the shaft so we're going to clean it up put the motor in and you guys are coming along the ride All right, guys, so we got the motor in. I put brand new motor mounts on it, so I had to align it, and it's right on the money. Look at that. Wow, that is nice. Perfect. All right, so we got a lot done. Um, we got the exhaust. Everything is marked up, everything is done. Trying to put the siphon little hoses because if you guys know, I did the tunnel. So I put, I reinforced the tunnel. This jet skis originally have the siphon uh, tubes are attached to these brackets that are glued into the side of the tunnel. On the past, like on the banana do, I tried gluing them, they didn't quite work out. The glue just it doesn't hold up. Well, what I did now is I noticed that the 22 and up, they don't glue no more on the side of the tunnel. They have these brackets. And you can actually purchase this bracket at the dealer, like I did. Obviously, purchase a whole bunch of them. And uh, now I can just, if they bolt up right here, bolt on the front of the right plate. So they bolt up right there, and then the siphon food, uh, tubes. I keep saying food. Maybe I'm hungry. Hmm. It goes right, right in there. It goes right in here, and then there's, you put a zip tight, and that's it. Simple as that. You don't. You have your siphon pipes back on your jet ski. I think that's important because. A little bit of water gets in or whatever. When you hit the gas, it will come out. Factory puts it there. Let's leave it there. And that's what I'm doing next. After that, it's pretty much just putting all of the in inner cooler pipes and connecting the Motic, putting the injectors, which are here. And the injectors, of course, were done by Have Speed. I like this, guys. Um, they they give you a flow sheet before and after. 
These guys were good, actually. This is at the beginning. These are 2200s. And as you can see, 2207, 2270, 2256. They were all good. And then when I got them back, they're more 2266, 2279, 2282. So they, you know, they clean them. Um, there was not much to do. Every race, these are the injectors for the Punisher and every race I get them clean. Just to make sure that we have optimum performance out of everything I put in the jet ski since we compete. Got them done, get them back just like that. How you see here, these people are awesome. Have a speed, full injection cleaners. You should check them out um, on their website and just tell them that Kala sent you. All right, so they need to be all the way up so the water, when the jet ski is off, if these things are down, water can get into the hull. So they need to be all the way up above the water line. So that's very important. As you guys can see down here, it works out really good. There's a zip tie here and, it, and everything stays very tight. So that's done. Move on. All right, guys, so one thing that you always got to check, you got to check everything and you gotta check it twice and three times if you have to. So a lot of times what I do is I check all these wires, I pull on them and guess what? One of these guys just pop off. Then I pull on the other one and it popped off too. So what I did was I took it apart. Here is it's very simple. You need like a little pick like this and, and you gotta figure it out. You gotta take this piece off and then through the front you twist a little thingy and it comes out. Very simple. I redid this and now I'm gonna redo, I'm gonna check these two and see if they are strong, you know, just just the, the part that holds the wire right there, I'm just gonna squish it a little bit more. Obviously these two came off, so I'm assuming these two are loose. Let's get that done before we move on. All right, so all the pigtails are good, and it was just this one here. So let's move on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure all these cables. So I gotta find a way to, since everything in here, this is a jet ski with parts from every year. The carbon banana is gonna be more concentrated in a 21 base everything. It's gonna be like, if you guys take a 21 from the dealer and you put a few take and a build motor that's basically what the carbon banana is going to be now but this one was my first setup and it works it is simple it works it's a good setup there's nothing wrong with it it has you know the cable throttle but everything is custom i have to secure everything so that's what we're going to do now all right guys so everything is done supercharger is on Everything is pretty much on, putting the spot plugs right now. I'm gonna put my coils in and let's crank it up for the first time. Hmm, let's see what goes wrong. Everything is on, injectors are on, coils are on. I don't remember if I had the vacuum connected on the, on the regulator. Don't remember that one. So I'm gonna leave it off just to idle right now. I don't think I, I don't need that. So let's just get it started and see what we get. All right, let's see what we got. We got fuel pressure. So let's crank it and see if we can get this thing to fire up. We got our Y band. Well, there he goes. Well, 85 for you there. <laughs> Might have to, at least it did something. Sounds good. Doesn't sound like there's nothing going on. All right, guys, so I'm ready to start this thing and I don't have any fuel. Hmm. Not fresh fuel, so ah, I don't feel like getting 85, so I'm gonna just go, go to the pump and get some 93. I just wanna start it up, make sure everything is good and then I can take the fuel out. This thing is very easy to take out the fuel. All you gotta do is just take this, the, this feeding off, put the hose through here, and it just pump all the fuel out. It's not a big deal. 
So let's get some 93 and start this baby up. Got my 93, put it in the ski already. Let's see if this thing wants to crank up. I mean, this is just, remember, this is just to start it out. You can't, you can't run this on 93. But it's a friendly fuel and it will start right up because the E85, I tried starting it with an old E85 I had here and mm -mm, mm -mm, didn't want to start. Let's do it now and see what it will do. We got power. Let's see. Okay, we got fuel. a battery on the GoPro when when that everything going on at the same time we got that situated put the big fan on hmm let's start this thing up one more time let's put the key on let's start it up one more time and see what we got <laughs> so it's way off it's a little smoky because you know the motor is fresh you know when you build the motor there's oil in the in the pistons and all that stuff not a big deal it starts everything is there we got spark we got fuel no leaks now i'm ready i'll take out that fuel when i'm ready for brian that's gonna be next take out that fuel put some good e85 go to brian tune it and see what numbers we get and that is going to be another video tuning this baby and see what numbers we are going to get the next thing is going to be that baby oh i got everything figured out i know how i'm gonna i'm gonna put the taps together and pretty much got all the plans for that and it will be probably for the next episode you guys see that thing is probably going to be running that's going to be a quick one hopefully everything will line up nice and straight because like i say i'm gonna use everything 21 everything factory you know it's like the motor and a little sauce there but pretty much you know all the electronics and everything ibr the gauges everything's gonna be like a normal jet ski it's just gonna be faster and lighter so we'll see look out for that episode next I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did and comment, like and subscribe and share, tell all your friends so we can grow this channel, so we can do more cool stuff like that and I have a whole bunch of cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and I'll see you guys on the next episode.